Hi, I'm Scott Mansell and welcome to Driver 61's University Series. This series is a collection of whiteboard tutorials taking you from the basic techniques of circuit driving to more advanced techniques later on in the series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the most fundamental of driving techniques, how to use your vision on the circuit. Now, good vision doesn't necessarily mean just good eyesight. It means absorbing as much information from the circuit as you can. And it really is a fundamental to good circuit driving. As most of the inputs that you put into the car, whether it be the brakes, the steering, acceleration, all come from what you see around you on the circuit. Now, most drivers who are new to driving on track will have a narrow and short vision that's very close to the car. They won't see what's coming at them from a long distance. So it's very important that you look further ahead of yourself. This way you give yourself much more time to know what type of racing line you should take for the corner, how much speed you can take into the corner, what your line should be as you reach the apex, and then when you can get on the accelerator to move out of the corner. So here we have a typical right hand corner as you can see here. I've split it up into four sections and you can see that this blue rectangle is a car. Obviously it's a, it's a perfect drawing. So point number one here is the braking zone. Now we should be focused, have our attention across here already at the apex. This way you know how much to brake and you know how much speed to take into the corner. So we could be looking 200 meters ahead of ourselves as we enter the corner. This gives you plenty of time to adjust the car and get it perfect before you turn the car into the corner. Now the second point is just at the turning point where we'll turn the car into the corner. Your vision should still be focused at the apex here and you may need to just turn your head as you're coming into the corner. Now, because your vision is across at the apex and you're still just before the turning point, it's very easy to visualize the line through the corner and gauge when you need to turn into the corner appropriately. If you're only looking here, well, how do you know where to turn into the corner? You don't know what you're aiming for, so you don't put the right amount of steering angle into the car. Point three here is just before the apex. At this point, you should forget about the apex point here, or at least looking at it, and you should be looking towards the exit. So the car is almost finished decelerating, you're beginning to bring the accelerator back in, and you're, you're actually looking towards the exit curb on the outside. Now the reason for this is because in a couple of seconds, you're gonna be wanting to get back on the accelerator, you're gonna to wanna to be opening up the steering wheel, and if you're looking close, if you're looking down here, then how can you possibly know when to do all of these things. So you need to look well ahead of yourself. The fourth point is after the apex, you're almost towards the exit. Well, at this point, you need to be looking well down the next straight or towards the next corner for obvious reasons. If you have a, if you have a right hander and then a left that follows quickly, well, on the exit, you should already be looking at the apex of the next left. If it's just a straight, then you should be checking the straight, seeing if there's any traffic or it's a good opportunity to check your mirrors, temperatures, and all the gauges. So now you know exactly where you need to be looking when you're driving around the circuit. However, it's not only important just to be looking in the correct place, but it's important to be visualizing the line as you come in and through the corner. So when you're on a brake, you're looking across at the apex, and you can actually visualize where, where the car's going to go as you bring the car into the apex and beyond towards the exit. That way you'll be very consistent and you'll be able to be on the, the perfect racing line each and every lap. Field of vision, as in where you're looking, initially will be very, will be very small, very narrow and very close to the car. This happens when you're, when you're new to track driving or when you get into a new car even. I remember the first time I drove an F1 car because I wasn't used to the speed, my vision came like this and, and towards the car, which is actually the opposite of what you want. So just try to be conscious of opening up the vision, looking further ahead, making it as wide as possible. Now when you're driving on track and there's lots of other cars around and people coming past you, you're overtaking people, it's very easy to completely forget about the vision. 
but always try to be conscious and try to be thinking, okay, I need to look ahead, I need to be looking at the apex now, now I need to be looking towards the exit. And this way you will train your eyes to naturally look out for these areas and already be looking well ahead of yourself. So you give yourself all of that extra time to make all of those inputs into the car, the braking, the turning, and the acceleration. That way you'll be much, much more consistent and much quicker over a lap.